Booktube and welcome to another video. Today I'm bringing you a book haul from the Walker Books Blogger Brunch that happened on Saturday the 10th of October. First two items I'm going to show you though aren't related to that Blogger Brunch. I did not get them there but they came in the mail and they are bookish related so I thought I'd share this with you plus it is a charity and as always I think charities are awesome when they do something with their money and do some good. So this is Cat's Protection which is obviously a charity that is about cats, you know, stray cats and all that. And they're sending around like a little notebook and a bookmark here. And this is like, I hieroglyph on it. And look, the cat with its ball of yarn. I think that's pretty cool. So awesome bookmark, awesome notebook. And on this one, it says thank you. So I think that's really cute and cool. Now on to the book haul of books that I got whilst there. And yes, I always love going to these bookish bloggish events because you get to meet authors that are there and you get to see what new books are coming out within the next few months. And then you get to see all your blogger friends that you see in every single other one, maybe meet some more. So it's just nice, plus there's like food is provided and obviously you get some of proof copies whilst you leave and some swag in there as well, maybe some sweets. So yeah, it's really, really nice and I'm always really grateful. So I just always would like to say Thank you very much to Walker Books for inviting me. It means a lot and I always have an awesome time. Plus, you're always really, really good at just describing your books and making me want to read them all. Even if they're not the sort of thing that I would read, you just make it sound really good. So yeah, without further ado, these are the books. And the first of which is The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. She is the author of Eon Eona. I do own Eon and I do want to read it. I really, really do. And when I was sat there, I was like, Alison Goodman, where have I heard her name from? Of course, it's Eon. I've heard really, really good things about that book. And now that I've met her as a person, because she was there and she was talking about her book, and it sounded really, really cool. I love her accent. I love Australian accents. I think that's cool. And uh, we got talking as well. We were talking about Australian English weather, and it's just really nice. And, and we got on, like, really really well and she also signed this book for me and put a little note inside it says 2kg great to see you at walker best wishes and she signed it and dated it but this is really, really cool it's basically for fans of the mortal industry series and jane austen and if those books got together and had a baby this is what the book would produce so it's basically you know duchesses and demons and it sounds freaking epic whilst we were there we had a little test of like if we'd be a duchess or a demon i was kind of undecided so i guess i'm like a demon lady bit of both hey i like hovis the best of both and what came for the book was these two bookmarks of swag and this one says meet lord carlston welcome to the dark days club and this one says meet lady helen duchess or demon slayer so i'm looking forward to this one and this book is released january next year and i cannot wait to read this one these next two books are from another author that was there and his name is Richard Curti. He was absolutely lovely to speak to as well. He also signed his books to me, so to Katie, all the best and lovely, lovely signature there. This one is his new one that is coming out April next year. This is called Maladapted and this one sounds really, really cool. Celia survives a devastating terror attack on a packed train. How did he escape when everyone else, including his father, was killed? He's desperate for answers and he turns to the mysterious tests. In a secret hospital far away in the provinces, they make a shocking discovery about what is really happening in Foundation City. With his life suddenly in danger, he needs Tess's help, but who is she and can Celia actually trust her? Sometimes the truth is the most dangerous thing of all. And it says here it's for fans of The Hunger Games, Diversion, Alex Ryder, and the Maze Runner. Now I've read The Hunger Games, I love it of course. Alex Ryder, I've read the first book and I really enjoyed it actually. And The Maze Runner and Diversion, of course, I love both of these books. So I think I'm going to really, really enjoy this book and I'm looking forward to reading this. His other book is called Monkey Wars and I believe that this one is already out. And this is really interesting because obviously it's about monkeys and things that come on with them. And there's something about like a, like a brutal massacre and then it's all about like power hungry langa monkeys and this monkey that's called Miko and he basically has to sort of attempt to help the surviving rhesus monkeys and he gets entangled in the secrets that lie at the heart of the corrupt langa leadership so sounds interesting and there's a quote on the front by Anthony Horowitz saying it's a strikingly original so 
sounds cool. This next book isn't released until February next year. I quite like the cover to this one actually. And this is 20 Questions for Gloria. This is by Martin Bedford. He is the author of a book called Flip. So I don't know if you read that, but this says here, two go missing, one come back. Gloria is tired of her ordinary life. When mysterious new boy bent on breaking all the rules, strolls into a classroom, she is ready to fall under his spell. But by the time she learns the truth about him, she is in a long way from home. So it sounds mysterious and it does say it's a psychological thriller, so spooky, very very spooky. This next book is released in March and this one says here, what does it mean to be fully alive? Magic blends with reality in a stunning coming of age novel about a girl, a grandfather, wanderlust and reclaiming your roots. And this is Hour of the Bees by Lindsay Agar and sounds cool, like magic contemporary twist, cannot wait. These next two books are Long Reach and Body Blow by Peter Cox. These are sort of like Alex Rudd sort of books where you know it's a boy detective sort of thing. And I like the covers of these, they kind of remind me of like, well this one reminds me of CSI Miami <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, this is CSI New York. So <laughs> basically this is about Eddie and he discovers that his brother Steve has been working undercover and then next minute Steve is found dead. So basically he follows in his brother's footsteps to try to uncover what has happened and thus this book is born so yeah sounds pretty cool and it says here it's powerful compelling and gripping and this is that that is by mark billingham who is a like a, a crime novelist in the adult world so yeah and there's a quote from the guardian as well so these must be really good the final book that I have to share with you is one that I am really excited for. I just I just really want to read this book. When I when I just glanced at it, I was like, you know what, that is a book that I really want to read. But then again, so are all of these books. This is called Gypsy Girl by Catherine James. Falling in love can be dangerous. This is basically about a gypsy girl called Sammy Jo. And she is strong, fast and tough, even in heels. She gets into trouble with a bad guy. And when she fights some local thugs to save rich boy Gregory. And now it's not just Gregory who is in danger, but Sammy Jo's whole family. Sometimes you have to fight hard to protect those you love. So it sounds really cool and just sort of interesting, you know, like a gypsy girl, it just sounds different and quite fresh and new and that is one reason why I want to read it. So there you have it guys, these are all the books I shared with you today. So that is a total of eight books that I have got here and I I just, I feel really, really honest. So again, a massive thank you to you Walker for giving these to me. I look forward to reading more of these, these sound really, really good. Don't even remember which one I'm going to start with first. Um, but if I had to say anything, actually, the Dark Days Club, for some reason, is screaming out to me at the moment. And normally I have my certain moods and genres of which I want to read. And that is the sort of one that sounds really, really intriguing. But again, they all sound really good. Like I said, Gypsy Girl, I do want to read as well. And oh my god, Maladapted. And oh, just too many books. So little time as always but that is the end of this haul let me know which book you're excited to read down in the comments below which books are your sort of book that you would like to read and which books you would like to pre-order any comments just leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can but thank you very much for watching my video as always keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful people in my next video